Hello and welcome to the Rusty Horn. What are we at? Number 12 now? Number 12. Yeah, yeah number 12. I'm Astro alongside Dingo. What's up, Dingo? How's it going out there? How are you, Astro? TGT's out. Yeah, TGT is out. Isn't that isn't that hype, guys? I mean, I've been experimenting a lot. I don't know about you, but man, I'm excited about a lot of new cards. I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of new amazing decks that I've shown to be really powerful, such as the Secret Paladin with the, the six six. It's like the new Doctor Boom kind of. It's pretty OP, man. The new Doctor Boom, he says. You Dr. play it on turn six, offended. you get a six six, and you get five secrets. Yeah, but I mean, you're gonna have to take that up with the doctor himself. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, uh, once again, this week we also have uh, WCS points uh, with some uh, tough, tough competition today. Um, today uh, we have a, a semifinal match already to be casted. Uh, let me give them a go ahead. And uh, yeah, let's get this match underway. It'll be CG Songbird versus Death Star. And Death Star, um, he's kind of he's kind of a really really great player. I don't if you guys don't know, he was in China um, competing in US versus CN, NA versus CN, and uh, he took home a lot of money alongside uh, Dog Tare and and uh, VLPS and uh, Firebat. Wow. Yeah. So. Pretty tough competition here today, and uh, you know we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to see what decks he's gonna bring today. Um, and we'll jump into the game as soon as they start. But man, Zingo, TGT is out. TGT is out, and the RCS brings nothing but the best competition, is what it sounds like to me. Given that Death Star was a uh, prominent Chinese player. No, no. Well, he's. He's he's a uh, NA, but he went NA. over there to compete. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's still, I mean, that's pretty uh, that's pretty prolific just to have uh, you know not not trying to tout our own horn or anything, but it does seem to be that the uh, the RCS brings quite the interesting. Um, I don't I don't know how you'd even describe it. Quite the interesting competition, bringing out uh, not only Death Star but other players such as Nalgodan. And uh, the the very prominent, uh, what is it? Argentinian. Argentinian. Uh, yeah, featured he... on Crip stream last night. Actually, Crip actually faced him in uh, in Crip's uh, constructed run last night. So, oh, really? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Saw him. Even Crip knew of him. He said, "Oh, is this the Argentinian?" Said, oh, wow! Well, if you got the if you got the notice of of Crip, then surely you're doing something right. Yeah, I mean, last night or last week rather, Nalgadan took. At home, the RCS Championship, like it, number eleven, in in one of the most exciting games I've ever casted. It was, um, you know, very amazing. Yep, definitely a, a battle back from the depths below. Nalgadan almost looking down and out, two and zero, oh, and battles back and takes the series, forcing a game five, taking the series and winning the Rusty Horn number eleven. Right, absolutely incredible competition last week and undoubtedly going to be the same level of competition here tonight. Yeah, it was one of the <clears throat> most amazing reverse sweeps I've ever seen. And, you know, it wasn't an easy feat. It was definitely amazing. And uh, now Death Star and CG Songbird are both preparing to battle a friend. We'll be jumping in very soon. Don't don't go anywhere. We have some amazing Hearthstone coming right now. Oh, actually, they're probably deciding on their decks right now. Uh, it is... Going, it is a last uh, scramble for WCS points, um, and uh, they are jumping into the game. So, guys, game one between CG Songbird and Death Star. What are your deck, uh, your deck predictions tonight, Astro? Are there any, uh, are there any decks you're looking I'll forward to seeing or yeah. want to see? Or I will fight well, I must protect the one. One second, let me set my chat to busy. Sure. Um, yeah, I just want to see what's what's well. This is our first TGT tournament, right? So I just want to see what's working right now. I want to see what the top decks are. The light protects me. Yep, always uh, 
<clears throat> always interesting on the heels of an expansion. <clears throat> Excuse me. We always, uh, in the RCS, there's no barriers to entry, and we certainly don't impose any deck restrictions. So anything you can think of, you can bring to the tournament. Astro, I think one of the decks that you, uh, that you've been using to climb up to such a high rank in Legendary was actually featured here on the RCS, that, uh, that Wind Fury Shaman, right? Oh, right. Um, right. Actually, no, it was Karate Dum who, who sent that list to me um, after he took an RCS with it. Uh, and that happened to be a very, very cool list, and I enjoyed it a lot. However, right now, I haven't been using it ever since TGD came out. I've been working on a Totem Shaman list, uh, so I think Totem Shaman could be pretty good thing. Uh, pretty OP OP? No, not OP OP. I mean, this this I see CG Songbirds here. He's got the uh, the uh, the secret paladin that I was talking about. Um, so I think this is one of the stronger decks right now. Every time I play against it, I am struggling uh, to figure out like. Well, usually if you can't if you don't have board on turn six and they drop uh, the mysterious challenger, you're just pretty much almost instantly lose the game. Ooh. That bad, huh? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Interesting. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see how. Uh, I guess what looks to be a ramp druid stacks up against the secret paladin. Uh, I'm really yeah. interested to see, uh, like you said, seeing what is it? Turn six, five secrets. Yeah. Uh, CG Songbird doesn't have the mysterious challenger in his hand quite yet, but it's only a matter of time. Ooh, silence coming down on this hunter creeper. Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a more reactionary play than just dropping the shredder, but um, it will. Ooh, he won't have the silence or blessing of kings though. Looks like that's what CG Songbird is going to go for right now. Yeah, CG Songbird looking. Uh, it paused for a minute to to check out Competitive Spirit Let there. Obviously, uh, Competitive Spirit's a secret when you turn uh, when your turn starts. Give your minions plus one, plus one. So that's going to turn that 5-5 five, five into a mean 6-6, six, six, along with the rest of his board, if it stays alive. So uh, potential for some serious damage coming here in the next turn. Right. CG Songbird. Ooh. I mean... Okay, he is going to innervate out the second keeper just to silence the 5-5. Five five. Okay, so the fact that he used his keeper last turn to silence the, the the spider, I don't think he would have done it unless he had a second keeper. But because he did have the second keeper, it ended up working out because he did have something to uh, deal with the Blessing of Kings. Right, but he has burned both keepers now. So both silences and the keeper of the Grove are now gone. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's going to be going to be interesting. We see the Secret Keeper going to work. Absolutely getting buffed up to a 4-5 out of those three secrets. Yeah, CG Songbird here playing out his whole hand. He's basically all in here. And yeah, Secret Keeper is like... It's basically Undertaker, but with secrets and with with the Paladin list uh, that CG Songbird's running. They, you know, they got a lot of cheap secrets, so you can get a pretty crazy uh, secret creeper value uh, if you if you just play them. Like right now, you saw three secrets. It's already a four five. <laughs> and the secret popping begins. Redemption uh, on the heels behind the avenge. Yeah, redemption, avenge, get down. Those are all amazing <coughs> secrets. I think uh, Death Star has got to use, got to kill that Secret Keeper here. He's gonna have to trade in. Yeah. Poor Shade. Yep. Gonna have to trade in a lot. The shade is is gonna have to be used up, but you've you've forced CG Songbird into an all-in, uh, an all-in situation until that Divine Favor draw. Ooh, yeah, that was a Couldn't very have asked good for draw. a better top deck, I think. Yeah. And he's got he's drawn into his mysterious challenger, it won't coming down be coming down this turn, but it'll be coming down on turn seven for sure. I'll never tell. Oh, 
Another Seeker Keeper coming out for CG Songbird. Yeah, that was that was an all-in. That was really a, a gamble for CG Songbird there, but drawing Divine Favor right on the heels of committing his entire hand. I mean, you can't uh, you can't ask for it. Like I said, can't ask for a better top deck. That was that was incredibly well done. Mm -hmm. I mean, the main thing is that it allowed him to speed up his draw. Wow, into another mysterious challenger. But he he has already used a lot of his secrets from hand. But he's got four more. God dang. Imagine if the secrets that were gotten from the mysterious challenger actually buffed the secret keeper. That would be crazy. Oh, oh man. That would be intense. One of them's bound to be Avenge, yeah, Avenge, wow, that is a big, that is a big Argent Squire. That is, it's a bit intimidating. 8-6 Argent Squire, how often do you see those? <laughs> wow. The uh, first of her class, I guess, the, the, the squire-iest squire. Right. Ever was. Death Star's gotta play the Druid of Claw in defense mode, but... Yeah. Even even so, shall I strike? it's just gonna get run over. Time waits for no one. Yeah, with the uh, pending no top deck, with the with the Druid of the Claw in defensive mode, he does escape lethal next turn. But like I said, pending a top deck, and, uh, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, second oh. mysterious challenger. <laughs> I wonder if there's any more secrets in his deck, actually. <laughs> there probably aren't. Oh, that's just lethal. Oh, yeah, that's lethal. The top deck. Abusive Sergeant Lethal, CG Songbird. Gonna take game number one in this semifinal match. So, uh, what did you think about that Secret Paladin deck? I, the Secret Paladin deck certainly looks intimidating, especially when you draw both your mysterious challengers back to back that really couldn't have gone better i guess i guess after the first draw you've exhausted a, a pretty good salvo but even still a six six regardless of how many secrets it puts on your board that's still pretty intimidating yeah it's like a boulder fist ogre but with one less defense right. or health rather and so like even by itself it's just it's just amazing yeah that's a that's a pretty pretty wily card Interesting to see that it's working now. He's gonna bring out his uh, CG Songbird. Gonna bring out a Druid deck now mm -hmm. against uh, Death Star, electing to stay with his Druid deck. Gonna try again, and uh, feels good about the Druid most likely. And that was pretty good. I mean, that was that was about as good a response to the to the Paladin I think that you could have as a Druid. Maybe a few things like swipes and other things, but. Um, that was a pretty good response. He kept up fairly well, but unfortunately, he's come to the uh, to the abusive sergeant top deck there at the end. All right, so Death Star finds his wild growth. CG Songbird does not find his wild growth in a bit of a worse spot. However, Death Star probably doesn't want to play as true the keeper of the growth on curve. So even with the wild growth, he's gonna pass on his turn four. Right. CG Songbird gonna go ahead and coin out his Shredder. Not gonna save his coin for either the lore or the boon. It could have. You could have argued for that since his hand's a bit clunky, but he does draw into another Shredder, so hey. Shredder and a Shredder. Very nice start for CG Songbird. Yeah, definitely a good recovery there off of, like you talked about, missing the wild growth. Good recovery there in the double Shredder to uh, help stabilize. We do see the infamous Emperor Thorisand making his first appearance in the RCS tonight. Gonna grant some pretty good discounts. Uh, gonna get a, an Ancient of Lore, a Force of Nature, a Swipe, both Wraths. I mean, those, those are pretty good discounts. Mm -hmm. Get rid of some of these cards. Discounting the removals that Druid has, such as Wrath and Swipe, 
are very, very good because you, it allows the Druid to have some crazy tempo plays where they just take the board by storm. Like, in this spot normally, you just play the Druid, or the Ancient of Lore, draw two cards, call it a day, but now he can Ancient of Lore and then Wrath as well. Gonna lore first. I like this. It plays around get it, him getting a mana wraith from the TG, uh, from the shredder. It's true. Instead, gonna pick up the uh, gonna pick up the sniper there. Not gonna do a whole lot given that uh, the druid doesn't have the appropriate hero power. But uh, steam weedle sniper, nonetheless, the two three. That's pretty strong. But, yeah. Uh, We'll see it likely removed here in a minute. And uh, just like the Angel of War being removed on Death Star's side. But so far, I mean, uh, the health totals don't show a bit of an equal footing, but so far it, it's fairly equal given the start and now into the mid game mm -hmm. for both. And as I was talking about earlier, the discounted spells allowed Death Star here, a crazy tempo play. He plays out two minions and removes his opponent's minions. So that's probably one of the strongest plays he could have had that turn. And dang, that is a Savage Combatant. New TGT card. I think it's a great card. But it's weird because if you play it early, in the mid game, you typically don't want to be hero powering that often. You kind of just want to be playing your minions. But, uh,. Drawing the card in this situation, it's actually going to help him quite a bit because it gives him more flexibility. Um, he can use his. He can now choose whenever he would like to use his hero power as um, some sort of removal. It's kind of, it's like turning your your hero power into a wrath, um, but it can't deal one and it doesn't cycle. Right. We will pick up the uh, the matter bomber from the from the shredder death rattle, but uh, unfortunately no no battle cry on the matter bomber coming from shredder. But ooh, another savage combatant top deck off of uh, Death Star's deck. I'm really Still liking not this. Choosing to play it. But. I, I yeah, I'm really liking this uh, this double savage combatant. No, okay. Whoa, whoa. If you play two Savage Combatants, does your hero power do five? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The answer is yes. Wow. What a turn. That is crazy. He just killed a Thorsten with his hero power. <laughs> Wow, I didn't actually know it worked like that. Um, that's really good to know. I mean, I've actually tried out one Savage Combatant in my combo druid list, but two of them, oh, wow. Again, late game, they just give your hero power so much flexibility. That is crazy. Two mana deal five damage, that's pretty good. Yeah. Gonna clear off both savage combatants here.